Ruth here, and this is my craft stash haul number five. And, um, at the time, obviously, this is probably gonna go up in uh, September, but, um, this was newly released. Um, currently, it is the 5th of August that I'm recording this, so it released around now. <laughs> And not when this is published, this video is published. Um, anyway, this is, as you can see, a collaboration between Laurel Beard and A Craft Stash. This is Nature Inspired Scenes, and this is their Cherry Blossom themed uh, bundle, release, whatever you want to call it. Um, so. This is the 14-piece uh, die set. Thank you, my friend. Hi there. Lovely cherry blossom bits. And uh, I thought this was amusing. I missed your face. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was amusing, but... Um, each craft stash one is coming in a little pouch. So, I guess all of the words come with the board and the shadow die behind it. There's quite a few different bits in here. So, like, quite a few cherry blossom bits. So like, and there's like two cherry blossom outlines, three cherry blossom outlines. Here's some petals in the middle. The uh, stamens. And some other bits. Are they leaves? I don't know. I think there's a branch in there. Yeah. There's a branch. But yeah. That. Mm hmm. So that is what's in here. back in one hand it is not easy okay so this is the very nice cover plate die it is the inside and the cut outside part the any and out you get <laughs> mm, i guess i might as well show you right that's the 3d embossing folder i really liked that one see the outside cut and the inside. Come on. Well, you know. That's gonna be a lot of paper piecing. I might just skip. I can't be bothered. That's a lot. All of those petals will be popping out, and all the outside bits will be popping out. So all you'd have to be left with is a outline. I mean, you can easily color them in without paper pieces. Anyway, here's a lovely cherry blossom 5x7 inch 3D embossing holder. I guess it doesn't have its own name. It just says cherry blossom. This is cherry blossom seed. Let's see. The cover dies has blossom background and the other ones has blossom centers. I guess blossom is the main keyword in this set. Yeah, blossom beauty is the stamp set. Anyway, getting ahead of myself here. Here is the very lovely, like a tree line kind of pathway. But I'll show you. I'll do the two embossing folders. And maybe the uh, the cover die. So I brought some paper with me and my pink shimmer ink pads. So I'll show you that. With me. I don't know if I'll show you me doing it because I need I don't I might need both hands to do things. Right? Because I don't have any stand over on the bed. But anyway, here's another lovely cherry blossom set. So obviously the 
pictures. But anyway, um, you are so special. Love, laughter, and happiness. Thinking of you. Hello, sunshine. Happy everything. I'm not really sure where to put that on a card, or what the card would be for. Um, thank you and happy birthday. I just I don't know. Um, here is cherry blossom layering stencil. It's three pack. And to work with rotating stamp platform. Hmm. And then this is not obviously part of this set. This is by It's Just Paper by Justin Hoodie. Very lovely YouTuber. Also, by the I can't say, but oh, beer. This is a very lovely YouTuber as well. Very funny. As well. She's nice to watch. So I'll uh, leave. I guess I'll leave their YouTube links in the description box below for a change. Instead of just a path dash website. And unfortunately, I don't have an affiliate link. Anyway, this is the animal silhouettes. A5 stamp set. I've got big animals and small ones for like distance. Or they're just baby. <laughs> because none of them are in the same position either. But apart from that, the bunny. The bears are reversed. Those, I think, are different silhouettes. Anyway. It was on sale. I was waiting for it to get on sale. Um. Well, if you're wondering. Not that you can tell, but I just use this, you know, to put my, uh, backings on the uh, double-sided tape so I don't completely mess up my bed and have loads of backings of tape um, scattered on the floor or everywhere. Anyway, that's besides the point. This is the 5 by 7 inch rectangle wiper card die set by Major Surprise by Sam Calcott. And it's very nice. It's shiny. Um, this is uh, 7 dies. This is the, as it said, wiper card set. So you just cut two of the largest, one of the mechanism for each wiper you acquire. Fold and burnish the large piece, these pieces, and fold the outer panels with a mountain and valley fold. Fold the triangular corner both ways on the mechanism following the markers on the card. Adhere one side to try of the triangle to the second column on one of the large pieces. Flip the second large piece, apply glue to two outer columns, and adhere to the first piece. Decorate with your chosen pop-up feature and coordinating embellishments. So this one came with two speech bubbles and a It's Your Special Day die. Oof. The It's Your Special Day would, I guess, cut out, cut into, it cut into or cut out of the card. I don't know. But, um, your mechanism is the one with the line on it. This one. That's the mechanism. It's just to fold this triangle part. The rest, I guess, is the uh, the layer or the matte layer or whatever of the rest of it. There's like the big one you cut twice because it's like sort of like a v-fold both ways you stick it together you know. I mean it's not hard to make the actual card base. Like it's technically it wouldn't be too hard to make the mechanism either but I didn't want to measure it wrong and stuff. Oh, that would be easier just to get the die. Also, it was on sale. It's 
wanted to use the other one, but I don't want to yet. But... Yes. Anyways, yeah. So I will put this away and I will show you. I think this one and this one embossing folder. Let me show you what it looks like when I swipe and form it. Or I don't know, came up from word that she made by accident. Was swinking or something. Anyway, probably not this fun not in this fun stuff, probably. Anyway, be right back. record doing that tonight. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so I just swiped the ink across. I'll show you on the next folder. Man, I can't believe I didn't realize I did not hit record. <laughs> what is? Oh. Give it more sparkling when it's dry, I think. I think it's supposed to be right. Now, for the I currently use this as kind of a mini deck, so I can see.
Not to retouch up on the bottom with both hands, but that's gonna look pretty. That's why I chose the, uh, the shimmer ink pad because it'll be sparkly. No, I quite like it like that. I, don't know. I might maybe touch up a tiny bit on the middle bits, but I'll leave a lot of it white, I think. So it's, so it's a lighter pink kind of shade. It actually looks quite nice, like that. Oh, and um, oh, I'll have to clean that. <laughs> I uh, touched up on this a bit more. I can just put some of that in there as well to uh, add some color and depth to it. <laughs> oh well. That's that. Next up, I guess, is the cover dye. So I'll be right back. I uh, put both ink pads down on this piece. I thought, you know, why not? And so I will put this on there and cut it out. it through again and then I had to use a pokey tool to po poke some of it out but ta-da I got it out I also had to cut a tiny bit off the uh, from the outer die because I didn't run that one the second way through because I kind of messed it up when I jiggled it around but yes if I wanted to which I don't I could, you know, paper piece them like back in, which I don't want to do because that's just, eh. you know. But I'll uh, I'll keep some of the petals, so just in case I want to, I'll uh, be able to, but like. It's so shiny and it's all over my fingers. <laughs> but yeah, so the outer die cuts out the outer bit, and the inside bit cuts out this bit, the inside. So, hmm. Basically, I can. Um, Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, this is the right size. Good. No, it's not the right size. <laughs> This is 4x7, this is a... Uh... Well, I could always cut off the edges further. But like, I could, you know, stick it on top of the pink one. Or a white one. I think I need to hit the other card base. I think I have a 5x7 one. So obviously on a, on a white one, it stands out a bit better, I think. So I'm gonna do it on a white one, actually. And, I don't know, maybe... I don't know if I'm worried, but I could put some of these, you know, on here. But, eh. Yeah, so this is this one. I don't know if I'll... Should I 
actually do a card or oh, something. I don't know. I'll uh, die cut the uh, the cherry blossoms out of this one. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I cut quite a bit. I cut even these ones so I like how I to I could stick them on the edge of cards. In the background, you know. So like cut quite a few. A few of these. I don't know if there's many of these I probably should have. I don't know I could do it later. And a lot more stamens. Anyway, yes, and I even did a few leaves, I mean, a few in gray or something, but, um, probably stick those on the card, like, for instance, like this, I did some of it today, so, like, for instance, say, tucks in there. Can't do it with one hand, but anyway. Yeah. I'll put it on there, I guess. But anyway, yeah. So, all in all, got some cherry blossoms in there. Have a cherry blossoms background from a 3D embossing folder there. From another 3D embossing folder. Only to the trunks in brown, and obviously the bottoms in green, maybe the path in sort of a tan brown or something. Or I could draw or stencil in some stone or something like that. And of course, the covered eye. So yeah, that's I guess the card for this video. A mess over there. I need to remember to do some other bits some other time. But it's, I don't know space to do anything else. And my sticky tacky neck is next on my desk. And I'm tired now, so I'll do some pictures at the end and yeah, you'll see, I guess, the end result. So, thank you for watching. Over and out.